I told you about. Well, yesterday I picked some and we had our sorrel soup. I am gonna make a little video on a, a version of sorrel soup. Not the ultimate, but a pretty good substitute if you don't wanna have cream. What are you doing, Reed? I am taking off the extraneous stems from this sorrel so that it will then be more ready for its uh, use in our soup tonight. That's about four cups of, of sorrel. I love the vibrant green. So I'm going to drop the butter in the pan and just let it melt. Now we're just going to put the shallots into the pan and saute them for a couple minutes. I need to lower the heat. Ooh, add about three cups of uh, chicken broth. This is my homemade chicken stock that I pressure can. Add salt and pepper to taste. I don't measure. Next, you're just going to add the sorrel. You're going to let this meld together on um, cook on a low simmer. Um, bring it to boil first and then turn it down to a low simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Sadly, after such a bright green beginning, sorrel does turn brown as it cooks. Um, so this soup is not going to be a vibrant green soup, but it's going to be a brown soup, but it's going to be delicious. All right, in the use what you have department, I'm going to add a piece of whole wheat bread. Now, goodness, isn't that weird? I've got my immersion blender. You can also do this just in a regular blender or magic bullet. I'm going to swirl that around and let it really get sopped. And then I'm just going to blend this up together. The bread is going to thicken the soup. I didn't have a potato. You could have put a potato in with the boil and this would have accomplished the same thing. At this point, it's a good idea just to taste the soup to check the salt and pepper. Okay, so the next thing is, you're, I'm gonna, normally I would do this with cream. I don't have cream, plus I'm not supposed to be eating milk products, um, cream that is. And I am going to add some keeper. And I'm just gonna put the keeper in, uh, and I'm going to stir it up, whisk it in, and I think that's gonna add the creaminess that I desire. In the French version, they would put egg yolks and uh, cream in here. Uh, the Polish version does not use uh, cream. I am just making a version. We'll call it the Virginia use what you can version. You know, I just tasted it and it's not bad. It's not bad. And I feel a lot more virtuous because I'm using the kefir. I'm not gonna let this boil. I'm just gonna bring it up to heat and then I'm gonna turn it off because we're not quite ready to eat yet. Then I'll warm it up slightly. Mm -hmm. 